So, hello everyone, how are you all doing today? My name is Ahmed uh, I'm a pharmacist, I love promoting good health and I love helping people to stay healthy. So today I'll be talking about, yes, 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 yes. Today I'll be talking about food to eat when you have hormonal imbalance. And the first one is for you to eat a healthy fat, and this include omega-369. And this actually helps to reduce insulin resistance. And you can get uh, omega-3 from food like uh, mackerel fish, crayfish, stockfish, tuna, sardines. You can get omega-3 from avocado. Um, and then you can also get the supplement. But for the supplement, always ask your pharmacist uh, so that they will let you know the dose that is convenient for you and whether it's appropriate for you as well. And then the next thing is for you to make sure you eat a diet that has high protein at every meal. So you put protein in your diet. Protein actually helps to um to make peptide hormones and this actually helps you as well so example of protein we have our beans we have moi moi we have our akara we have fish goat's meat eggs granuts etc right so then the next thing is for you to eat a diet that is high in fiber as well so uh, that actually helps you as well to regulate your hormones. Um, it helps to increase insulin sensitivity. And some of the food that I in fiber include sweet potato, yam, um, oats, uh, yam, oats, corn, millet, Cow peas, brown rice, right? So you can also eat food that uh, are in fiber. We also have carrots, uh, cucumber. They also, they also have high fiber in there. So then the next thing is for you to eat a diet that has cruciferous uh, vegetables, eat the cabbage, broccoli, and um, kale. And so for, if you have hormonal imbalance, it's important for you to go to the hospital, get a diagnosis, go to the laboratory and run tests. That actually makes it easier for you. So thanks for listening. That's all. Bye-bye. God bless you.